A stone falls freely under gravity. It covers distances h1, h2, and h3 in the first five seconds, the next five seconds, and the next five seconds respectively. The relationship between h1, h2, and h3 are okay. Now, almost a very similar question. So, if we try to understand, okay, let us let us not skip the explanation. Let us consider that as a fresh question. So, this is distance covered in first five seconds. This is the distance covered in the next five seconds. And this much is the distance covered in the next five seconds. Okay. So this much is at t is equal to five. This much distance is at t is equal to another five, which is t is equal to 10 seconds. And this much is at another 5 seconds, which is t is at 15 seconds, right? So, what is S1? See, what is S is equal to? S is ut plus half at square. It, since it is from rest, S is equal to half gt square. So, what is S1 is equal to? Half into g into 5 square. What is S2 is equal to? Half into G into 10 square. And what is S3 is equal to? Half into G into 15 square. So this will be equal to G by 2 into, this will be equal to G by 2 into, equal to G by 2 into 5 square is 25. 10 square is 100, 15 square is 225, okay. Now coming on to the solution part. See, OA, let OA be H1, let OB be, sorry, let this much distance be H2, let this distance be H3. Now, what is S? Okay, uh, what is S1? S1 is basically OA, right? So S1 is equal to OA is equal to H1 is equal to G by 2 into 25. What is S2? S2 is distance traveled in the 10 seconds, which is this much OB. What is OB from the figure? It is OA plus a B. See, this is O A. This much is O A. Then O B will be O A plus A B, which is equal to H one plus H two. But what is S two? S two is G by two into hundred. Very similarly, what is S three? S three is equal to this complete distance, which is basically the sum of O A plus A B plus B C, right? which is OA plus AB plus BC, which is equal to H1 plus H2 plus H3, which is equal to G by 2 into 225. Now it's just linear equation, but I'll try to solve that also. So let me write down the equations first. So H1 is equal to, now see what I'll do is I'll consider, I'll consider G by 2 as X, okay. So H1 is equal to 25X, H1 plus H2 is equal to 100X and right away from these two equations, what is, let me solve that. So since H1 is 25X, I can write here that 25X plus H2 is equal to 100x and what is H2 is equal to 100x minus 25x which is equal to 75x. So H1 is 25x and H2 is 75x, okay. Now what is the third relationship? H1 plus H2 plus H3 is equal to 225x but what is H1 plus H2? It is 100x. So we have 100x plus 
h3 is equal to 225x in which case what is h3 is equal to 225 minus 100 which is 125x now i'll write down the equations like this h1 is equal to 25x h2 is equal to sorry h2 is equal to 75 which i'll write it as 3 into h2 is equal to 75x which is i'll write it as 3 into 25x and h3 i'll write it as what is h3 125x which i'll write it as 5 into 25x now why did i use 25x i'll tell you see what is 25x h1 right so this basically reduces to 3 into what is 25x h1 this is 5 into what is 25x again h1 right so if you look at the relationship here if you look at the relationship here what we have reduced so far it reduces to h1 is equal to 25x h2 is equal to 3h1 and h3 is equal to 5h1 so h2 is equal to 3h1 implies h1 is equal to h2 by 3 h3 is equal to 5h1 implies h1 is equal to h3 by 5 which makes us to the equation h1 is equal to h2 by 3 right from here we have h1 is equal to h3 by 5 therefore the correct option would be option c